the Jovian strategy is a relatively simple point scoring idea. It relies on accumulating Jovian tags and the cards that score points for having them. However, the tactics needed to run a successful Jovian strategy game are fairly complicated, in large part because of the relative scarcity of Jovian tags as well as their high cost. First, we'll go through the corporations that can make the Jovian strategy work particularly well. We move on to the actual Jovian cards that will score the points in this strategy. Then, I'll explain side strategies that a successful Jovian game often requires, including card draw, titanium and mega credit production, and discounts. Finally, I'll discuss backup strategies that can be used in case you are not fortunate in finding enough Jovian cards throughout the course of the game. Saturn Systems is often the obvious choice for the Jovian strategy, and it certainly works effectively, increasing your mega credit production every time you play a Jovian tag, and it gives you an extra Jovian tag with which to score points at the end of the game. However, it is not necessarily the best choice for a Jovian strategy, especially when you're playing a multiplayer game. If you pick Saturn Systems and are playing with other people who know the game well, they will know that you are playing for Jovian tags. If you are drafting, they will then tend to take the Jovian tags away from you. If you're not drafting, then of course this isn't a problem. One solution to this is to play a different corporation altogether. Then nobody will suspect that you're playing a Jovian strategy. You can quietly build up titanium, mega credit production, and play some sort of backup strategy while you accumulate a handful of Jovian tags and play them later on. This prevents people from withholding Jovian tags from you during drafting, and can benefit from the corporation's effect as well. You'll only lose one Jovian tag, which is worth at most four points, and some mega credit production. This can be effective with Credicor, for the discounts on the expensive cards you'll be playing, Helion for the increased money production via heat, Ecoline and Tarsus for efficient ground game, and Phobolog for the increased value of titanium. You need to understand your group's dynamic to choose the correct corporation, and it is definitely possible to succeed with Saturn Systems in a drafting game. People tend to put their own interests before denying you Jovian tags. There are three particularly important Jovian tags that form the basis of this strategy. They are Water Import from Europa, Ganymede Colony, and Io Mining Industries. Each of these cards gives you one victory point scored at the end of the game for all of the Jovian tags that you've accumulated during the game. They each have their own individual effects and benefits as well, but they don't really matter. You want to get all three of these if you possibly can. Similar, but more difficult to play, is Terraforming Ganymede. This gives you one TR for every Jovian tag you've played so far. The timing of playing this card, if you can find it early in the game, can be frustrating. It is a toss-up between getting more points from the card if you play it later in the game, and gaining a few generations of money production if you play it earlier. The only advice I can give you about this is a rule of thumb, which is that you need 14 mega credits to buy a TR using an asteroid, so you should play Terraforming Ganymede as soon as you think you'll gain enough money over the next generations to buy more asteroids than you anticipate playing Jovian tags for the rest of the game. This is just a judgement call more than anything else, and I wouldn't suggest trying to do the maths to guess the best point to play it. The game will always surprise you. Beyond these four important point scoring cards, the remaining Jovian tags are all fairly self-explanatory. You can see some of them here on the sides. In total, there are 12 Jovian tags, and Saturn Systems also provides an extra tag. Many of the Jovian cards give you additional TR straight away and plenty of them increase titanium production. We really don't need to go into them in any detail, 
because you quite simply want to buy almost any Jovian cards that come up. Card draw is the most important side strategy for the simple reason that it gives you extra chances to draw more Jovian tags. Plenty of card draw cards are science tags. It's for this reason that I suggest you almost always play a science strategy alongside your Jovian game. Details about playing science will be in a linked video. Inventors Guild, Business Network, and Restricted Area grant you an action allowing one card draw. AI Central draws two cards and doesn't require you to buy them, but does require three science tags, demonstrating how the Jovian and science strategies complement one another. Olympus Conference and Mars University have effects that allow card draw or recycling of useless cards in your hand when you play new science tags. Development Center exchanges one energy for a card draw. There are plenty of other cards that give you a one-off card draw, and these cards are good buys if you don't have anything better when you're drafting. Jovian cards are expensive, and most of them are space tags. Therefore, you'll need a steady supply of money and titanium to play all of them while keeping your backup strategies churning over. There are lots of cards that increase money and titanium production, and it is not necessary to go into detail about many of them. However, Advanced Alloys will be a good addition to your game, as it will increase the value of all of your titanium. You can also use your titanium production alongside Security Fleet if you find it, and you also have the option of funding Miner and or Banker. A number of cards will give you discounts on all future cards, and several will give you discounts on space tags. These are worthwhile buys if you find them early enough in the game, as you will be playing a lot of space tags and expensive cards. In addition, they typically grant you a few victory points, making them a safe enough investment. Jovian strategy tends not to lend itself that well to milestones, but there are a number of awards that you can compete for. Banker is well in your grasp, especially if you play Saturn Systems, since it boosts your TR for every tag played. Scientist is possible, especially if you play Science as a specific backup strategy. Finally, you could win Miner if you end up with good Titanium production. Sometimes with this strategy, you will just get outrageously unlucky. You can try to mitigate this with card draw, but having some backups in mind will make you more competitive in multiplayer games. If you've gained some mega credit production, ground game is always a good option to fall back on. You can always terraform, and you'll be assisted by your high value space cards, which tends to give quite efficient TR for the titanium you might have gained. Finally, you can focus on the awards which you are in the running for, and if available, you might snatch Gardener or Mayor if you play ground game.